Hi everybody, this is Chat and Craft with Lorraine Tierney and I thought I'd show you how to stamp your own background paper. I wanted to give you something um, a little bit different to do while we have extra time in our days. I thought it might be something you'd enjoy. We're going to use two stamps from the birthday background stamp set. I'm sorry that's shaking so much. I'm trying to stop it. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, two stamps from birthday backgrounds and one stamp from Bonanza Buddies, the Let's Celebrate You stamp. So together, we'll create a pattern. I'm going to start with the squiggly looking stamp with blueberry bushel. It's a juicy ink pad. I'm going to try to go lightly um, and I'm going to start in one corner and stamp off a little bit and then keep going down and I'm going to rotate my stamp as I go making sure to go off the paper as well. I'll come back this way. I'm going to just clean it a little bit. I see I'm getting some extra ink around the edges. And I'll finish this up. I have some big white spaces in here. Okay. Now I'm going to try some candles. These are in Bermuda Bay. I really like this color with the blueberry bushel. They seem to go pretty well together. I'm trying not to totally overlap my stamping, but if it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. I think I need one of these over here someplace. Okay, and now I'm going to use Pineapple Punch and a word stamp that says, Let's Celebrate You. I hope you can see that. It's nice and bright. Uh, try not to overthink it like I am and just stamp. I'm going to put some of these going in the other direction because I'm not sure how I'm going to cut this paper up when I use it. So I'd like it to be readable from different directions. I think I'll do one more here. I haven't gone off too much with this, with the words, so I think I'll do that. Gives it a little bit of a different look when you remember to go off. I need something in the middle there. I think it's gonna have to be a couple of squiggles. So I'm just going to do it. There we go. So this is what the paper will look like. I'm going to cut it up and use it to make some cards and I will post those cards on Facebook with this video so that you can see what I ended up making. I hope you'll give it a try to make your own 
background paper, stamp your own background paper, and I hope that you will follow and like me at chat and craft slash Lorraine Tierney. Have a good day.